give you a rundown of how it is. We'll do like a little review situation. So, yeah. Laura's excited over here. Tyler. Say hey. <laughs> and dad over here. We ready. Alright y'all, so we just had I forgot to take a picture of, of our appetizer. It was the bruschetta. And 10 out of 10 recommend if you get an appetizer here for sure. It was good. Let's see what the other folks thought about it. I thought it was really good. Okay, thought the bruschetta was good. That's good. You would get it again? Okay. Alright. What what would you give it out of out of ten? Give it an eight. Okay, solid eight, okay. Um so Okay. Nine. As for me, I'd probably I'd give it a nine too. I've actually had bruschetta in Italy, and it tastes very similar. So I would I would give it. It was very it was very good, very flavorful. The cheese was like it wasn't all it wasn't melted. It was interesting. It wasn't melted, but it wasn't solid. The mozzarella cheese is mozzarella. Mozzarella, basil, and tomatoes. And normally they have it over a, like a, there's a vinaigrette or, um, not a vinaigrette, um, balsamic, well, yeah, balsamic vinaigrette on, on it norm normally. I think there was something else on there. I don't know what the green stuff was on there. Oh, avocado. Avocado. They had avocado on there. Um, and so, yeah, but it was good. It was, it was very creamy. It was, yeah, that was, yes. It was creamy consistency with the avocado on there, as well as the cheese. And so, we we'll definitely recommend Laura's help me. Yeah. yeah. Nice tomatoes, nice chunks, nice and fresh. Yeah, I agree. So, we'll catch y'all when we get the, uh, when we get these entrees. Alright, so I got the pork chop with a uh, slight braised red cabbage. Um, and I don't know what this is. Oh, it's, it's pineapple. I think it's pineapple. Um, grilled pineapple. They got um, burger, they're splitting it, burger fries and a wedge salad. And they split it for them, which is really nice. Tyler got the salmon and that was lentils maybe lentils yeah lentils so yeah how is it all right all right so it's all right we're gonna get the verdict at the end here i'll let y'all know what kind of vegetables is it yes it's like lentils and mushrooms so tyler no. tyler's verdict about the salmon is that it needs to have more more sides with it right more, uh, more vegetables more vegetables and this is the update y'all i said this was <laughs> y'all don't mind me i thought it was pineapple this is actually pork chop like these were pork chops and then this is part of the pork chop too so it's a lot of this is a lot of meat um and it comes with the braised cabbage you know but again i'm with tyler mine also did not have a lot of sides it's a lot of meat but like nothing else <laughs> hardly so so there's that how was y'all's um burger good splitting the salad and splitting the burger was a good it was because it's it was actually big y'all saw it all you know it was actually pretty big uh size so so yeah cool deal it was good what what was was the food good yeah it was good cooked well okay good <laughs> okay y'all the verdict is in. <laughs> the verdict is in. So, all of the, y'all, y'all saw my plate. I had all, that was all meat. It was all pork. So, I had a little bit of that cabbage in there. And there was hardly any vegetables besides that on my plate. You can see there was a little apple. They had a little apple on top of the pork chop. The pork chops were, were, they were good. But there was so much of it on there and hardly any sides. Tyler, what did you, so Tyler, y'all saw, we had the salmon with the lentils. What do you, what are you, your verdict? It was good. I'm hungry. I 
be up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you're hungry, you're gonna fill it up. Fill it up. So don't get that. Get a burger, something else, pork chop. Yeah. Just don't get that, that sandwich. You're gonna be hungry. <laughs> tell you that right now. Okay. You're gonna be eating off of other people's plate. Yeah. <laughs> Both me and Tyler were eating off of their plate. Well, we all kind of ate off of each other's plate a little bit. But what was your verdict of the, the burger and the salad? Burger and the salad. I had the, the prime burger. Yeah. Medium well. Yeah. Thick, right? Yeah. And then the salad. Actually, it was huge because yeah. you split it, but it looked like a full you know, wedge. It did look like a full wedge. Me and Tyler ate off of it because we didn't have that many sides. <laughs> we didn't have that many sides. What do you think? Okay, Laura, you yes, said. I agree with the burger and split the burger and the salad was the right choice. Yeah. What would you give? What would you give your food? Zero from, from zero to ten and then giving the restaurant experience from a zero to ten. Um, I give my food an eight. Okay. Because it was tasty, but the fries were kind of average. It was fries. Yeah, yeah. Especially that. Yeah, one. they were, yeah. Um, I give the restaurant experience probably an eight also. The food was very good, but the food was slow coming out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Atmosphere is nice. Though. Yeah, yeah, definitely a little bit. Okay. Rate the food and the overall restaurant experience. I would rate the food uh, seven. Okay. That's only because um, it was nothing special. So when I, yeah. I figure when I come to a signature restaurant, if I would, I would, you know, expect yeah. something different. It wasn't bad. But right. I would say it wasn't, it wasn't great. I could get that at Red Rock. I agree. Yeah, or some other specialty burger place. Actually, the fries make them better. Actually, yeah, I agree. Completely. The fries, yeah, are definitely better. Um, and then the overall experience. Um, <laughs> I would rate that a seven two, simply because the food took too long for yeah. what we ordered. I agree. Um, it wasn't anything that needed to be cooked with, you know. Goodness gracious. <laughs> have to say that again. 16 pounds of meat to go Exactly, because that was my pork chops, y'all, basically. That's <laughs> basically what that was. Okay, the food and the overall experience. Alright, so I'm going to rate my food and eat. Okay. It tastes good. Yeah. I'm going to taste it. Yeah. Um, that's it. Some of the food. Don't eat it. Don't get me Oh god, okay. Experience. Uh huh. Six. Okay. Just because. Coming to the restaurant. You got these kind of prices. You want the food to come out real quick. Yeah, I agree. I mean, yeah. that's, it's just that simple. Yeah, I'm with you. And when the food takes too long. There was not, Laura said, there's no, there wasn't any free, you know, bread or anything starting out and all of that. So that's something to, you know, consider. I would rate my food, I would rate it a seven. Um, it was good. It was good. Um, but the, the, <laughs> the meat to the side ratio is like 10 to 1. <laughs> There was a lot of meat, then hardly, it was just the cabbage. Um, and there wasn't like a ton of it. So it, it, it was all good and it was flavorful, but I don't know. I just think I've, I've had better food. Um, so I would rate the overall experience probably a six as well. Um, they, they've already said the food was very slow coming out. And it like, as a signature type of restaurant, like a little game book, you would kind of expect something more. I don't know if you know they didn't have a lot of people in the back or whatever the case is. Um, it's a you know it's a nice little atmosphere, but 
it's just, it didn't blow me away. So that's kind of why I'm giving it. Would you come back, would you come back here again? Uh, no, I like City Works a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, no. No, okay. <laughs> I agree, I, yeah. Um, there's a place up the, up the way called City Works that we are talking about that was really good. If you're looking for like some type of a, it's good, it's like, it's like sports bar uh, atmosphere, but the food is, honestly the food there is what you would expect for somewhere like here. Like here. Dad had some steak, I think Laura had the tacos. I think, I, yeah, I think I did have a burger, some, some, some type of a sandwich. But everything, so stuff like that is what I would kind of expect to find here and I kind of did it. And, and just the, I don't know, the food was better, to be honest there. So, yeah. So that's our consistency with this video. So thanks for sticking along with us. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever eaten here at Wolfgang Pup Bar and Grill. Um, and let me know what you thought. Let's chat it up in the comments. Alright y'all, talk to y'all later.